we need to get rid of these corporations and these law enforcement agencies if we want to stop the socialist agenda. Exactly. I don't know if socialist is the exact word that I would use. I would call it communist agenda. We communist agenda. There really is going to be some redistribution of wealth because they stole our wealth. So there is going That's to be a, some there, there should be a, a redistribution of wealth. There is going to be, yeah. You know, the 1%, the elitists that are controlling us on a global scale. They perpetuate the narrative on the mainstream media. You know, we're all... And we're, they're communists. Yeah, well, obviously. Marxists. Right. You have these private companies in the United States, and they're sort of furthering the socialist agenda. Uh, and that is true. So in order to get rid of communism, means to get rid of the big banks. Yeah. Uh, get rid of big pharma. Right. Um, what else? Big tech. Big tech. Landlords that like, are coming in and buying like, hundreds of properties. You don't even know what right, corporations. Like China is doing it, Bill Gates. Zillow. Yeah. You got to get rid of pharma, big pharma, Pfizer, Moderna. That's right. You know what? Amazon. Like Amazon, Pfizer, Moderna, Apple. We need to get rid of the uh, you know big pharma companies, the corporations, the big banks, in order to stop the communist agenda. You know what? Yeah, these big businesses. Amazon. This is the playbook for communism coming into our country. We got to get rid of the banks if we want to stop the socialist agenda. Why do we need money anyways? I mean, honestly, I don't see why we need money. We could trade goods. I have a craft. I have a lot of craft. Early on, if you look historically, the people that disseminated Karl Marx's like original literature right. were the big banks. Sure. Yeah. Karl Marx. Um, no one knew who he was until the big banks sort of distributed right. all of his literature. Right, right. It was basically the the banks and the Rockefellers that was allowing communism to spread. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah. The Rockefellers they just kind of took the reins and took over and owned all the banks. To fight the communist agenda, we need to all get together. Workers need to collectivize. Uh, you know, seize the means of production and tell them, you know, we're not doing this anymore. Right. I feel like a lot of people here are very fed up and they're ready to collectivize and sort of seize the means of production. Right. Yeah. Right. Just going to shut, we're going to shut down the country right. ourselves. So the, the workers, so the workers of this country need to get together, mm -hmm. go on a general strike. Workers of the world unite, okay, strike and, you know, it's stop the communist agenda. I mean, that's why I support unions so much. You know, well, you I, I, we, it's funny. I, I work I, I work for, a, actually not this shirt, the other shirt I had in earlier, for a company not too far from here called Liberty Pump. Non-union, they let the company, the owners of the company sold the half, a third of the company to the employees. So the employees have ownership of it, which is a lot better. Oh, yeah. and well, they're collectivizing. Right. It's, it's cooperative. A, it's an ESOP. That's, I mean, that's what they've done. And the employees love it. They're happy. They work their tails off. And then you can have insight of why, where your wages can be, should be, and need to be to be competitive too, so they understand that. Because everybody wants to make a million dollars a year, but then the pump, they can't sell a pump for $50,000 a piece. You know, we sell pumps for 200, 300, you know, that's affordable, and that's the thing, they have to be competitive, so they're, there's... They have skin in the game. Right, yeah. exactly. The, yeah, the workers own the means yeah, of production. Their families work there, their dad, the sons work there, and that's typically where America started. A lot of families did that, you know. That's perfect, yeah. yeah. This is uh, the island of free ice cream, okay? And it's about capitalism versus communism, Jack Posobiec. One thing uh, our family did, so our nieces, to teach them about you know, capitalism and communism, we had them set up a lemonade stand. At the end of the day, you know, we took all their profits and was like, all right, you know what? All right, do you, do you own the lemonade? We provided the lemonade, we provided the table, we provided this, and then, you know, so they, they had cleared, you know, like $37 or something. And you know we charged them for the table, charged them for the lemonade, and they walked away with five five dollars. You know, and that was uh, I think it was a pretty good lesson yeah. for them on you know capitalism over communism. Absolutely.